The year is 2012. The Mayan calendar has come to an abrupt and mysterious end, leaving the world wondering if this was a cryptic prophecy about the coming end of civilization. The US death toll in Afghanistan had surpassed 2,000, not to mention the countless innocent lives taken by proxy. Airstrikes along the Gaza Strip had claimed the lives of hundreds of civilians in a single day. Millions of people were being exterminated in the Congo as a result of their endless civil conflicts. Just when we thought we'd seen the worst, we learned that a man named Joseph Kony was suddenly terrorizing Uganda for the past 20 years. We had no time to prepare. Something had to be done. So I watched Jason Russell's viral short documentary called Kony 2012. I took it upon myself to strategically retweet several viral hashtags, showing that I unequivocally condemned evil dictators and mean people. Across the world, Activists came together, united as one people, to defeat the tyrannical reign of Joseph Kony and restore democracy to Africa. With the help of my monetary donations, American filmmaker Jason Russell promised to drive Kony out of Uganda and restore peace. And wouldn't you know, he did just that. Together, we created so much viral internet content that Kony and his army were forced to flee to South Sudan seven years prior. Justice for Uganda. I felt proud of my contribution to world peace and prosperity, but I couldn't stop there. The very next summer, I set out on a journey to cure ALS, a degenerative disease that was suddenly sweeping the country out of nowhere. I strategically dumped not one, not two, but three buckets of ice water on my head that summer and nominated dozens of my friends to do the same. We cured ALS one icy bucket at a time, taking the very fate of mankind into our own hands. I haven't heard a thing about ALS ever since. There was nothing in it for me, but I selflessly sacrificed nearly everything for the greater good of the planet. It's amazing that these issues are so easy to tackle when the world comes together for awareness. We have the potential to create a nearly endless supply of bumper stickers and hashtags to spread awareness. The only thing holding us back is corporate greed. For the time being, donating money to Jason Russell had to suffice. As the 10 year anniversary approaches of the quick rise and fall of Joseph Kony, I decided to look back on all that I had accomplished in 10 years, starting with the financial part I personally played in restoring democracy to Uganda. So I decided to do some digging on the current state of affairs in Africa. But then I had second thoughts. If anything noteworthy was happening over there, I'm sure it would be all over the news. One thing's for certain, People like myself will continue to fight for global justice by any means necessary. Would I call myself a hero? I'm not so sure about that. But I also can't think of a single better word to describe myself. So yes, absolutely. <laughs>